All right, so this is where it comes in very handy to have a head restraint for your cows, because this is the one with the horn skirt issue. And you can see she was dehorned as a calf before we got her. And the horn is literally growing into the side of her head. I can barely get my finger between it. So what we're gonna do is I don't have a vet or anything out here to medicate her. So we're gonna try to just tip this horn and get it out from the side of her head. And then uh, next time we come around, we may get a vet to do some uh, surgically remove this this whole horn. I know you're supposed to give them some uh, medicine to numb it and all that because it can be very painful if you cut into the live tissue. But we're gonna try to get just the tip with a pair of pruning shears and uh, hopefully relieve some pain off this poor cow. But yeah, if you don't have a head restraint, then I think you got almost no chance of uh, doing something like this, so. So this could grow into her brain? Yeah, it's actually doing that right now. It may have, uh, I can't get my finger under it. It didn't puncture it, but it's uh, certainly growing under, so. So it, it could go into her skull and go into her brain and kill her? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So this is one of the reasons we don't dehorn any of our animals. We, uh, if they have horns, we leave horns. And if they uh, don't have horns, that's what we prefer. Ah, <sighs> see, now I can get so my finger, get on finger on it. it. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit more so we can get a little bit more time out of it. <clears throat> get one more little snip. Is that something maybe you could file off? Maybe. I don't have all the tools with me to do something like that, but I think we at least got it out from the side of our head. So, all right, I can get my fingers under it. So we should oh, yeah. should have some time now. So it, so it doesn't go into her brain or anything? Nope. So, so I think, I think okay. she'll be okay. Okay. But yeah, that's been bothering me. I've been wanting to get that clipped out. And like I said, I think it's bad enough. We're going we're gonna to get that whole thing removed. Oh, yeah. So now you can get your finger under it. Oh yeah, I can get my whole finger under it. Cool. So now the only other thing we're gonna do with her is we sprayed her ankles and stuff where she had a few flies. So I sprayed some permethrin around her ankles to help give her some relief from the bugs. We're gonna give her a shot of Covexin uh, to help her. It's actually for her calf really when she has her calf in a few months. So hopefully the calf's born with a little bit of immunity. And then, uh, We'll get the calves when they get a little bit older. So yeah, I get the uh, Covexin 8 from Tractor Supply. And I think the things I'm really interested in for calves anyway, is to have the uh, black leg and the uh, tetanus in it. And it's got some other other things as well. But this is what's recommended for our area uh, to treat some of the common diseases. And that didn't even hurt. <laughs> okay. All right, I think that's all we got with her. Okay, cool. You gonna let her out? Yep. Yeah, what, anything else we need? I think she's all good. Free to go. Hey, big girl. Who's up next? <laughs>